My name is Xavier Alexander. You can call me back at 918-555-9292, and I hope you have a great day.
fifth period. He's in the airport? Not yet. I only just had my face reconstructed. You look, look good, Lord, give me some. My husband can. And my daughter. I freak her out, she says. The substitute teacher was an idiot. I asked my kids what they did while I was gone. Three weeks while I was gone. You know, no one could give me a straight answer. And then Alejandro finally cracks. Watch The Wire, season four, he tells me. The Wire? Says the teacher was trying to tell them what not to do. Yeah. Uh, which teacher was this? A cute young blonde straight out of the teacher's college. Patricia or Patrice or some shit. What are they teaching them over there? The last up they sent me showed them dangerous minds. They should have gotten you spit. She is a substitute teacher from the gods. I was gone that week with the Mars and Mania. Came back, my kids went into the next chapter of the Wizard's Man, had their papers rated, and everything. Impressive. An enigma in this place. How's your uh, son? Trouble next question. Have you figured out where you're gonna go? No. You figured out a thing. Coming up the edge of the earth, and there's no answer to this dark, dark universe. The crow is flat, Naya. Mine is more flat. Quick and fast, and I, I just can't stop you. That son of yours just is a swift kick in the ass. That's not what he means. I remember, I remember when parents used to let teachers kick their kids in class. Uh, you old enough to remember that? We teach teenagers. Especially the teenagers. I don't think I remember that. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was the best. I had this one kid, Louis Gaspacho. Louis Gaspacho? <laughs> he could be a terror if he was really having a day. So this one time. Grabbed his little scrawny ass in the middle of class and gave him three licks on his backside. Never a book thrown again. The kid almost got straight A's that year. But old ass will teach a lot. But, but that's not his problem, Lord. I'm not saying that. I'm just. It's, it's a lot of things. It's me. I'm the source, and I know it. I, I I just can't talk about this right now. Don't panic, honey. We're all a bunch of scrubs trying to figure out our mess. You'll figure it out. Screw up. Figure of speech. It's not literal. Don't take that literal. Right. Ladies, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do right back at you? Better looking good, girl. That's all brand new. How you doing, man? I need them. How you doing? Provide them like every day. Good for you. Yeah. That's enough socializing for me. Got to get my room intact for the next set of hooligans comes in. Need me to come up there for any reason? You know how I was. I got your arm forward. Don't worry about me. Worry about these young gals who don't know how to defend themselves. Me? I'm an old day. A little surgery and I'm back in the game. Got it. This is my day, you know? This is really my day. You all right? Talking to me? Nobody else did. You don't have to do this. Do what? Make small talk, check up on me. Tend to give a damn. Really. Got lots on my mind and lots to do. I don't, don't need to fill up the end. Yes, you are. What? No. You gotta smoke. I can't do that here. I can't take it outside. Don't have to bust you. You ain't funny. You wouldn't smoke. I'm out of smoke.
We rule cool, the pool players, seven at the golden shovel. We real cool. I want you to look at this poem in both versions that I'm sharing with you right now. Notice this layout. We left school. These are from two publishers. One, Harper Collins, a known white American company. The other, Broadside Press, one of the first major publishers of black revolutionary writers. We lurk late. In the Harper Collins version, the layout is pretty common. Large title, words at the beginning of the stands are capitalized. There's almost an attempt to erase the idea of the pieces written in broken English. We sing sin. In the Broadside Press version, the layout looks like graffiti writing, not what we normally see in our textbooks. We thin gin. So why do you think this black independent press decided to lay out their poem in this broken graffiti style? What do you think they're saying about the structural rules? What do you think they're saying about the education of young men in this poem? We chaz June. The pool players in this poem are teenagers. But what if I told you it was the middle of the day on school day? What are they doing in the pool halls on a school day? We do. Miss Brooks is talking about something. Saying they're skipping, hanging around pool halls, thinning gin, jazz in June. We d d d Some people may think the Broadside Press version is invalid because it doesn't follow the rules of the English grammatical structure. It looks like street writing. We real cool. But sometimes rules are meant to be broken. We left school. The street has valuable lessons. Too. We lurk late. The Brooks has her own. We strike straight. She breaks up the weeds on each line because she wants us to pause. We she, sing sin. She wants us to think about the we in the next line. We? Because each we questions their existence and work. We? Because who are they at pool halls, skipping, drinking, having sex, hanging late? What will they be from? We? When Ellen Brooks gives us the answer in her last line. We. A line that haunts us all. We. A line that will be our epithet. We. We, we die, die soon. What? Okay. Um, I, I, um, I <laughs> seem to have forgotten. I, I, I can't find my place in my, um, I, I'm fine. I'm, I'm really fine. I just, I, I just think that's enough for today. I, I'm really sorry, but I have to step out for a moment. Um, you guys can work on your own responses to this poem. Be here. 
ideas if I'm in his head right, but I don't know if I'm just sure. Hey, give me some ideas. Sorry, miss, I'm not in the chair. He's a traitor? I'm trying to hear Jasmine to be calm, to not unleash. I don't want to say you unleash. Don't do that, Omar. Do what? 
ask if I care. Put this on me? Deflect? I'm not trying to deflect, Mom. I'm just asking if you care to hear if you prefer not to. I always care. I'm not saying you don't. Then yes. Tell me the gory details. I want to know what made you attack your teacher. I don't understand, Mom. Make me. I want to start by saying I'm not justified. But everything I say now is just a how, you know? The how and the why will not be excused. I'm not making those. Well, give me the how. I couldn't see straight. It's what I know for sure. It's like going blind for a second. No inside, no out. I was just trying to make it through the week. Blinded you, Omari? You're questioning me. Questioning you how? I didn't feel like being bothered. I said that to Omari. I told him I wasn't in the mood for being questioned. Omari, he's your teacher. He has the right. Ma, he don't. Not the way he was doing it. We get to discussing the reading, native son, Richard Wright. And he started asking questions. What made Baby Thomas kill that woman? What were his social limits? What made the animal in the room explode? And who are you looking at when you ask him all these questions, Mom? Who are you looking at? Mari. Like I'm the spokesperson. Like I'm Baby Thomas. Like I'm pretty strong some shit to you know what it's like to be an animal. Mari, watch your mouth. But you hear me though. You hear what he's doing, he start picking me out. Mari, he's your teacher. He's supposed to ask you about the text. He's supposed to engage you. That's the teacher's mm -hmm. job. I told you that repeatedly. We're not talking to the teacher doing their job. We're talking provoking. We're talking agitating. We're talking singling me out. You know what, Mom? On a day where I don't feel like being singled out, we talk respect in my space. You're not in your personal space. You're in a, you're in a collective space. That is education, Omar. I'm talking bias education, Mom. I'm talking disrespect. He was saying something else, something directly to me, I know he was. Even if he was, even if. What are you telling me? You telling me that makes you attack him? I told him to back off. You said that already. I told him, Mom. And then? And then he says, Mr. Joseph, your perspective is mandatory here. You tell the class your perspective for taking zero from the day. Still not sick. You threatened my grades? You threatened to punish me in front of the class because I don't want to be your token responder? That's bullshit. But you also cuss like that? Are you reserving that disrespect for me personally? I'm sorry, I understand. You haven't given any indication for how your behavior is warranted. Forget it, Mom. No, let's not forget no, it. No, let's. And this is just be talk. This is your hard strike, Omari. You put your hands on a teacher. I pushed him. You think they care? I pushed him and he fell against the board. You slammed your teacher against the board and it's being recorded by students. Do you understand that? I tried to get them leave. He wouldn't let me leave. I told him I wasn't in the mood. I told him. You think they care about your mood? Exactly. They don't care, Ma. They don't care what space and place I'm in. I know me. I know how to learn. I know when I'm good and when I'm not. I said I'm not good. I said that. Then you ask for permission to be excused. You don't just walk out like you're some sort of king or god that no one can take. Tang. Damn it. Tang. Do not twist every model of this conversation to change me. I'm not changing anything. I'm repeating. Verbatim. Well, what'd you come back here for? I don't want to leave that way. You come to tell me goodbye? Come on. You, you jumping out? A school your father and I bet for you. A school that was supposed to. Make me a better man than I'd be if I just went to your school? Don't give me his speech. Those are his words, not yours. Your father thought it'd be best. Better than stand with him? Omar just ain't surviving in this hood. He too much, it could be something. That's what my father thought. That's where his money's going. Do not speak for me or him or us. Don't interpret. Celebrating my disappearance. Mark. Not funny, yeah. I don't know. But it's like a homeborn or something up in here. I ain't got it, Mom. Sorry. We should um uh, eat something to eat, right? I'm, I'm hungry. I'll I'll cook us some pasta. What did I do? Please Mom. tell me. I need to know if I hurt you, but instead if I forgot too much, you didn't know enough. I tried everything. I tried to bumper you from it all. I tried to flee you and free you. I tried to take instructions from your father, from uh, my mother, from other mothers, from whoever. And I still don't, I still don't have the answer. Who do you want me to say? I would do anything for you. I would steal the sky for you. I would. I would strip the sky, the sun, and the rain for you. I would cry Moses for you before I let you die or run or lose your freedom. I would surrender my own to he who we had to save you. I 
good if you're just a puppy. You're gonna eat. I'm gonna sit here and wait for instructions. We real cool. We less cool. We learn late. We stretch straight. We 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 strike strike. I didn't say it. 
And you didn't tell him who the real villain is. I didn't let him think you were the enemy. He thinks it anyway. You hardly listen to me, won't even talk to me anymore. I never, I never bad talk you. If you're upset with me because of, that's fine. But you and him, whatever's broken, that's not me. Then, let him stay with me. You think forcing him is going to save him? Then do it. You have a great rebellion in your hands. I can handle a rebellion. Talk to the school on Monday. I'll put them out of class and ask them to drop the charges. Maybe they'll listen. And they'll come with, and you come with me. How do we get here? Ask yourself. I miss you. I can't. I know. It's a deal then. Go hate us both. Or maybe just need the sign. Oh, but wait. Till Monday. I like to kill myself. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. I don't understand. 
I wanted to talk to you, find out about this whole acting out of school. I already pled my case, get the whole one too. But I want to hear from you for what? Because I deserve to know? Deserve? Why is that? Because you paid for the education? Am I wasting your money you want me to pay you back? Yeah, maybe. I'll write you a check. Go talk to them, I'm your father to talk to me. We gotta work this out. I'm already working my stuff. No, with me. You quit a long time ago. I never quit. You quit her, you quit me. I didn't. There's an adult business you aren't privy to. I'm your father, you're my son. I never quit you. She was creeping. That's the adult business. Never mind. And you were me. Cole. Who wasn't that my happy living over here? It wasn't her fault, my knee. The hell you want me to do? I took good care of you. You never went home. You always had a shirt on your back. Money in your pocket. Didn't I do that? You know, most of these dudes want their old man so bad in their life, they can just a missing link to the equation. Man, flesh ain't shit. Ain't no difference in this firm. I'm still your father. I'm still here. Title is overrated. No, I don't give a shit if you like me or not. I'm still your father. I'm still here. You ain't here. You there. I'm here. We miles apart. You're going to respect me. Respect is non negotiable. For what? You really want to ask me that? I want to know what happens if I take no. Sometimes I want a guy who's gonna throw him and choke the shit out of you. What's stop him? Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting in class, listening to the lesson. Hadn't seen him talk to him in weeks. But that check came in on time. I woke up with that check in my hands, and I had a feeling about it. Like I didn't know what to say, but I wanted to say something to you. I called, but you didn't answer. So I went to class. 
sitting there listening to them talk about Bigger Thomas and whether them two was at the rage. Single mother that got brought up. And I'm sitting there listening to this on a day where I had you on my mind and I tried to call you, but you ain't answer your phone. Then the teacher come asking me what I thought. He started asking questions. Mr. Joseph, who made Bigger Thomas do that to that girl? What were his social limits? Who made the animal in him explode? And he looking at me, but also through me. And I said, I don't want to talk about it. Because all I'm thinking about is how I haven't talked to you in, in weeks. But I get this damn check on time. Like it's an automated, like it's even personal. Of course, it's just robotic routine responsibility. <laughs> I'm thinking, who does that? What kind of nigga just sends checks and calls that fatherhood? And I start exploding. And I say, don't fucking call on me. I don't have the answer. And he, he get up and grabs my arm. Grabs me like you do when you try to play daddy all of a sudden. So I pushed his ass off of me. Threw him into the fucking smart board. Threw him like he was you. And I'm wishing it was you. I'm wishing I could throw him again. Pound his face into the ground. Rip up that check and say, boy. But it wasn't you. And I'm wishing it was you. And I don't know if I hate it or if I love it. But I know why Bigger Thomas did what he did, and I hate that I know. But I hate you more. I hate you most of all. You know, son, I... Like a scripture. Oh, 
Wow, okay. You want to hear it? I'm dying to hear it. One, hear me out. Two, let me chill sometimes. Three, no one to back off. Four, no one to keep pushing. Five, let me have some space. Six, don't assume me for the worst. Seven, show up in person. Eight, be fair. Nine, forgive that I'm not perfect. Ten. What's ten? I don't have a ten yet. I'm, I'm still working on it. Yeah. So far.